Cyberspace, The Final Frontier. These are the adventures of the website Hold the Line, whose continuing mission is to serve the gaming community as a platform for discussion, friendship, advocacy, and education. To boldly go where no gamer has gone before. of consoles has not even been released yet, and yet, we are seeing more and more limitations as time goes on. In fact, it appears many of them may be hitting their maximum even before release on certain issues. Both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 have admitted their consoles will have trouble hitting the 1080p graphics setting. And while that may only be a factor for quote-unquote graphic whores, it does show a larger problem. If even before release we are seeing limitations of any kind, it begs the question how long these consoles will be viable as top of the line. How long will it be until the entirety of the console is outclassed? Will we see new console generations every couple of years as opposed to the six to eight year cycle we've been seeing and enjoying? Now someone asked if that was a fair question, I will answer, of course it's a fair question. We don't want consoles to become another bi-yearly release like several of the games we enjoy on those consoles. And that's not to say it will be that way, at this point this is all speculation, however, until we get a real look at these consoles and know for certain they have the tenacity to last for the years, we have to wonder whether not PS5 and Xbox 2 will be just around the corner in 2016. It was revealed a few weeks ago that Capcom was down to nearly $150 million. Now to you and I, that's quite a lot of money. However, to them, that's a little more than one or maybe two large budget titles. And that means even one failed game could send Capcom over the edge into bankruptcy. In the weeks since this knowledge has been made public, a lot of people have wondered how Capcom was going to bounce back, or if they were going to fall much like THQ did last year. Now their representative came out and said that he believes the solution to their problem is more profitable DLC. Congratulations sir, you have missed the forest for the trees. The biggest problem they have is this mentality. Re-releasing games over and over again, changing their franchise to go after the Call of Duty dollar. And the question becomes, at what point do they right the ship? Are they going to right the ship, or are they going to continue these same failed policies until other companies are buying their games? Capcom is one of the originals, one of the alpha dogs of the industry. And while it would be sad to see them go, if that's how it must be done, then that's how it must be. Those who do not learn have to feel. I hope Capcom writes the ship, but at this moment, it's not looking great for them. Finally, our channel of the week this week is a Let's Player named Togolf. Many of you probably know him, but if you don't, here's a refresher. He does a lot of different games. He's mostly a point-and-click guy. The reason I put him on this list like I have many others is frankly he's a channel that I personally enjoy. That's what channel of the week is. It's not just me going out and, you know, saying, Oh, what will, you give me, what will you give me if you let me use your channel? No, these are channels that I'm pointing out myself. I ask for permission. That's all it is. There's no palm padding here, nothing. But if you go to this man's channel, you'll see tons and tons of Let's Plays, tons of videos. And what's great about Togolf, in my opinion, is that he actually legitimately cares about his audience. Even something as simple as having to reload. He will place up a video explaining why he reloaded giving you his reasoning, and more than that, making sense. His videos are sometimes loaded with political commentary, if that's what the issue is he's talking about, or just what he named his cat. He runs a wide variety of topics, and I do think you'll enjoy it. I'll have his link in the description below. So listen, my name is Vega Goose saying, that's what I said, and I'll see you next week.